All right, the map is Japan, and uh, these are the bonuses. Plus three for Hokkaido, five, five, eight, five, five, four, four, and three, if I can talk. Uh, we are the uh, purple player, fourth in the turn order. This blizzard makes it one less point to hold Kanto, but still one, two, three, four, five to hold. That's a lot. This blizzard does nothing over here. This is still a two point hold for this. Red wants this over here. This blizzard makes it one less point to hold this plus five. Still a one, two, three, four point hold is a lot. Do we have any good, useful blizzards? This blizzard does nothing. So the blizzards aren't crazy impactful here. We are purple. Where are we strong at? We have eight over here is pretty strong. So even, though, even though the blizzards aren't really helping us much, they're not really helping anybody else a lot either. Make things a little bit more complicated, but not a lot. I have eight over here for one of the stronger uh, holds on the map, a one two point hold for plus three. This is also, uh, this is actually stronger. It's a two point hold for plus four, but mine's pretty close. You're moving out of my way, making it easier for me to get my bonus. So even though the blizzards aren't like the most crazy blizzards for making anything overpowered, we've still got a pretty good like start here. Like that is not bad. Eight troops in a basically free uh, Hokkaido. Also the way this map works, if I didn't explain it, I don't think I did, um, is that there are uh, this bonus over here, Basically, Japan extends down over here to the left, but it doesn't, it'd be like too weird on the screen, too zoomed out. So basically this five right here is like effectively right here. And then this, uh, this three right here is this right here. So these four islands down here, five actually are just connecting up to this thing right here. Blue are taking a lot. Is anybody, are we all players? Did anybody leave and become a bot? Are we all here? Are we all players? We're all here and players. Okay. Blue seems to be going for this plus eight in Chubu, or they just want to attack and have lots of territories. I'm not sure what their plan is. It's our turn. Four for going fourth in the turn order here. I think our play is obvious. We go for a round one plus three bonus, and we take great joy in having this. We love this for ourselves. Don't want to attack anywhere else. I don't see anywhere where it benefits me, so we won't do that. And we'll fortify one over here to make it these both five so that nobody wants to push through those. Now the question is, where do we go from here? If we want to, we could push in to grab this plus five, move everything forward. This moves forward to here as a one point, as extending that hole here to over here. This move down to, uh, I guess, probably here and here. No, here and here. So it's a, no, wait, no, it's a two point hole. No, because this connects up to here. So you have to hold here to protect from this, hold here to protect all this and here protect all this from going back to here. So it's effectively a one, two, three point hold. And uh, that gives you two bonuses. You're pointing over there. Maybe you're telling me to get that three out of your way. Why would I do that? I That just helps you get your bonus faster and I don't want you to get your bonus faster. I can't get those three troops up to here to help me in a meaningful way. Even the perfect dice, I leave one troop there, one troop there, one troop there, right? So I'll leave them there to slow you down a little bit. I mean, Next turn, I get, uh, what, six troops? A nine there. I'll take a nine, the eight. Ooh, I like that red and white are both fighting for this bonus. That's great. I could try to get a bonus that's not connected to mine if I wanted to. I could try something that's poorly defended. I mean, a three-point hole for plus eight's not the worst. Oh, the white player's mad. I could actually start stacking over here. I've got a two-point hold. If I grab this, I then have effectively a four-point hold on four, seven. I'd rather have a three-point hold on eight, so... If I can push through here and get this, and it's only like a one, 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 two. Aside from that four, this is pretty free to grab into my one, two, three point hole. Can I simplify this in any way, shape, or form? Like, I mean, if I control this, well, it's still a one, two. It's still a three point hole, but just here, here, and then here instead. If I grab all of this, it becomes a one, two, three point hole on like half the board. Will you attack out of their way? You're going to give it to them. I guess they do have a ten right there. All right, kind of makes sense. You want to stay alive, give yourself a chance. Red becomes a threat on the board. I, I hope that red and magenta uh, waste each other's time a little bit, right? I think what I probably want to do is stack on this. Stack my six here, it becomes 11. We hit this. We hit the four, that way the white player... I'm worried the white player wants to do like a one, two, three stack in this region. If I slap that four, that kind of like smashes their hope of like, I'm going to stack on that four, keep it alive. They try, they try to keep a three or one or two like that alive down there. I don't care. I'll I just fortify there. It's, you know, they won't stack on a one, right? Two, maybe. Are you a bot? Or are you brand new to the game? What are you doing? So I hold lots of territories. Is getting cards? I don't know. Hard to guess the ranks. People play chaotically, which keeps it interesting. There could be a grandmaster, a master here, a novice, and a beginner, and intermediate. Who knows? 
fortifying over there. I don't worry about that. Plus six for us. I could also use this into there eventually, but not. I probably eventually yes, but not now. Right now, I slap this. If you were strong over here, I probably wouldn't worry about this so much. But I don't want this in here. I don't want this in here. Sorry. I want to eventually have this. Lost the same amount as you. It's fine. Let me fortify back over to. <laughs> says stop it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew they wanted to keep that four alive, and I can't have that. I can't have that four alive. I want this. I want this over here, and I am not going to live in a world where you're doing the thing that a lot of the experienced players in this game do, where like, okay, I can't have my bonus, but I'll stack in here to make sure you don't get this. I'll stack in here to make sure they don't get this. I'll stack in here to make sure they don't get that, and I'd much rather have... Ooh, you only lost one there. Not bad. I'd much rather be in a situation where I'm strong here, and I'm moving slowly into this, and they're going through here, you're going through here, and then hopefully these two go to war, and then I just slowly recover this. Now, do I go for this next turn is the question. Okay, you've got your plus three over there. It's a one, two point hold for you. And this, you know, these can eventually move into holding right here. And this can move into holding right here. And eventually you have all of this in the bottom left on a two point hold. No, three point hold. One, two, three point hold. Two bonuses on a three point hold for you for a total of seven. It's not the difference than my two on a three point hold there. Ooh, red goes in. But you've got red right on your border. Whereas I've got no immediate threat of mine because nobody ever wants to go for this or this because it's like a five, six point hold. This is like a, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven point hold. Like nobody wants to go for these, right? You're pointing over there at them. I The question is, who is the white player going to be more mad at? The red player for forcing them out of the bonus they're going for? Or for me for slapping their four stack? It's a good question. It's hard to know. I think we... So six next turn... I could do, oh, uh, 11, we hit this, let's say we lose one, leave one behind, becomes, you know, nine here, eight, seven, lose one, maybe six, hit this, four, uh, we know it's going to be too quick to do the next turn. We're going to take an extra turn or two, I think, to get it. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Maybe hit that blue two out of there before they decide to start putting some over there or bot out and the bot puts some over there. It's hack over there for a card. They're thinking to what to do. They stacked down here. Okay. They they are the type to try and keep them alive. Or they're fixing to come over here and break me. All right. I could stack one on this three and move it up here. I'm worried they're trying for this bonus. And I don't want that to happen. I could also slap that five. Get out of my face. Slap that five. Get it out of here. I don't think I want to do that. Hmm. I think they're trying to st stay in this. I don't like the blue player moving into this region. I think the blue player's trying to hold this bonus. I don't love that. I mean, I could just go for a one, two, three, four point hold instead. Oh, there's no way I let you hold a plus eight. There's no shot I let you hold a plus eight, especially when it makes, makes me have to have a four point hold instead of a three point hold, right? No shot. <laughs> no chance. No dice. Good sir. This doesn't happen. The blue and white player are probably not going to fight each other. They're both trying to recover. Red and Magenta are not going to fight, so I have to kind of like suppress both White and Magenta, which won't be especially easy. So if what we do for now, um, oh, seven is guaranteed to take you out there. I want to stay strong against you. Would you take an 8v5? Trade in. Make it some funny ideas. We do a couple more over here. A couple more over here. We don't try to grab this just yet. Right now we are in suppression mode. Fortunately, I need to suppress you, good sir. Lost more than I care to there. And I have to fortify back, even though I want to hold here eventually, because this is not safe here. Uh, the, the fact that uh, blue and white are both trying to go here and here, bit of a problem for me. If I could eventually, you know, buy my time, keep breaking blue, and eventually slap uh, the white player out of here and out of here, so the white player is, you know, halfway across the board, that'll make my life a lot easier to secure this next bonus. And, you know, I don't want to get too greedy to get it too quickly, because I'm effectively going to be dealing with a 2v1 right here, and Plus three bonuses, plus three troops a turn is nice, but it's not that <laughs> strong. So I can take on 2v1, especially in progressive. Uh, I need the white player and the red player to help each other. Magenta, or stop each other. Magenta goes over here, okay. Alright. So, you're eventually going to work up towards this three-point hold up here in due time. Patiently. That's exactly what you can do. So, next turn, what do I do if I can focus? Stop getting distracted, CG. Think out loud, not in your head. Plus seven for red, because they got that plus four is really nice. The red player's in a pretty good spot. Um, 
where they expand for more bonuses. I mean, just they can just keep stacking here forever and getting plus four per turn is pretty nice. I'm getting greedy going for this plus eight because, well, you know, content. But uh, it's not always going to work out that way. I want this. I want this and I want it now. You're going to go for this. No, ooh, you're pushing the white player. I might need to stack here. I They're saying thanks. I might need to slap the white player. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That, that might turn the wrath of the white player against the red player. If I'm lucky, we see three over here, so they try to stay strong over here to get re revenge. Um, or they may be bought out. I don't want to see three get slapped right there. Or a car trade on three and more. All I did was hit a four stack of yours. This dude pushed you out of your bonus. He just slapped a five stack. B, please be more mad at them. They angered you first and more recently. I'm kind of in the middle. Forget about me. I'm just trying to get my bonus over here. You know, greedy for a second bonus, but... Oh, they're taking a long time to take their turn. Hopefully they're botting out, or they might be plotting and planning what to do. How sweaty are you to keep your rank high? Because you're not going to... I don't think you win this. Oh, one over there, two over there. I don't like that. And you're going to attack my three. No, you attack that too. You're going to leave? They're going to start working their way over there. They're leaving me. I like this. No, they're not. They're getting a card and fortifying back. So they've... Oh, I see. They, they just wanted to have two stacks of six. They want to keep two stacks alive. So we're going to have a situation where the white player is going to be constantly stacking against one of my borders. And over there. So maybe we take a 13v3 and slap him out of here. <laughs> you know? And uh, just work on getting them out of this match. I, uh, the, like you're, the fact that you're obsessed on stacking right there, right by my border, is, is not great for me. But I can't let the blue player have a plus eight. There's no shot. Um, two birds and one stone stack here. Wham, wham, wham. The web, the white player's mad at me. They car trade early, but it's only four extra troops, and they have seven, whatever. Um, I, I, I cannot let the blue player have plus eight. There's no world we let that happen. Um, plus six for us. No card trade. Uh, I need to stop you both. I need this. The white player most likely card trades and gets me for this, but you, you gotta stop stacking on my border, buddy. You, if you had fortified over there, it would have been fine. They're probably gonna do an emote, emote to be mad. Cannot let you have this. There's no world we let you have that. And um, we fortify this back over to here. It's very good chance this five becomes an eight, and with good dice breaks, my six. Or they car trade for four, get plus three to seven, it becomes a 12, and the 12 does break my six. But I've got an eight right here. We've pushed white mostly out of the board. There's a good chance the both of them are coming towards me, but I'm kind of finding the, fighting a bit of a 2v1 right now. I wish I could, I, I, I could have probably split this up a little bit differently to get you out of here as well. It's kind of rough. I have to keep breaking blue and push white out of here. Bit rough for us. I do... Here's a problem. Cross my fingers, hope that neither of you have a card trade on four, and we're okay. Oh, they're thinking about it. Poor white players having a rough time. They are having a rough time. I think they were trying to stack in too many locations at once, and it just did them a massive disservice. And also, they stacked aggressively on my border. Like, like clearly I showed you that I'm trying to expand over here, and what you wanted to do was stack very... I'm glad I slapped them out of here. Clearly they were going for this. Um... They're not going to let me have the next bonus. You have 39 troops. I have 28. Ooh, red. Yo, yes, 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 yes. This is huge. This is huge. They're going to take out the white player for cards here, which means those the white player is not going to use those cards to then self-destruct on me out of frustration. Because red's also concerned about... Red and I are in the same boat. White's mad at both of us. We're both in danger of getting slammed on. They take them out. They get their four cards. An early elimination is not a big deal because the card trade is not that big yet. It does help out the red and make their position stronger, but also puts me in a scenario where I only have one player who is mad at me and uh, getting my way from bonus. I mean, blue's probably also going to get my way to... Oh! Red's making enemies out of everybody! This is great. I deal with blue while red deals with magenta. This is fantastic. Um, if I even want to, I could stack some troops here and break red. Or we ignore it, let, because Magenta probably has a card trade. They're gonna be mad about, oh, they didn't even try to protect it. I think Magenta's gonna break them, I don't have to worry about it. That'll be fine. Very exciting, though. Red is doing great things for me here. Wild that they slammed Magenta, but actually pretty good. I think Red sees that I'm busy with blue. Have you bought it out? Mmm, don't know. Doesn't look like it. Um, we stacked... Oh, you did card trade, I think. Did you card trade? Yeah, yeah, 
you're down to one, you card traded, and you're doing your best just to get your bonus, okay. I don't think you understand that I'm not going to let you hold this. That's why, I, that's what you don't seem to understand, is that there is no world I let you hold this, sir. Um, you've got a, oh, there's a two and a two here, I could blam blam break you real easy over there. Oh, uh, six v two, I mean eight v two, if I lose, two, I mean there's a chance to lose three, but it probably gets you. Push gun shove over here. Or maybe you want to hit that big seven, because it's too big and scary. You got so many points to defend, that's the problem. That's just one less point to defend if you're over here. Um... Alright, I got six. I could just break that seven. It's gonna be in the way eventually, right? Um, it's probably gonna come my way if I'm not careful. Yeah, just break the seven. Felt that good, right? A little slap a dap over here. I'm not. You, you don't get this, man. Like, you're just not. Like, I will not let you hold this. It is not a thing that's going to happen, sir. We do one of these. And then we fortify right back. Blue, uh, like, blue and white really slowing down the rate. At which I get my. Um, get, get my. Uh, bonus over here, 10 troops for you, okay? Card trade so you can deal with uh, them. Right there, you can fo follow them back, and then you can hit up here and come in, break them, right? I mean, if, if Magenta gets all of this... No, because it's a path of that. No, it's a 1, 2, 3 point, I don't remember what they do. I will, I've got an advantage in the 1v1 with blue, I think. How does blue have... Oh, how do they have like 8 more troops than me? Because 1, they weren't hitting white like I was. And 2, uh, they card traded and I have not. I, I'm sitting on effectively 12 troops right now, which would give me... 38, or no, 12, 40. There's only four more than them, but I've also been beating the white player up a lot, which cost me some troops. But, uh, we're kind of, yeah, I need magenta and red to kind of stalemate for a while. There we go, break them. Uh, they've got 30, you've got 26, you've got more cards. I, I want to hurry up and get this next bonus, if at all possible. Would be great. I do think red does eventually beat magenta here, unless they screw up or outside interference occurs. Namely me or blue. I don't think it's going to happen. We got two 1v1s happening right now. 12 troop trading gives me 15 troops even better. I use those to grab and hold my bonus. That's the question. Do I even want to try and hold a three point now? Now that we're on round um, six of progressive. I mean, I kind of do. But I kind of also want to eliminate blue, but they're all across the board. There's, there's a plan for a quick card over there. Okay. They're starting to chill out. Why are they attacking so much? Trying to hold more territories? You didn't bot out, did you? No, why would you? You're doing pretty well. What are you doing? I don't understand why you're, um... You just want to hold more territories for bonuses? Is that what's going on? Are you just, like, giving up? Why are you giving up? You're, like, you're arguably in the strongest position on the board, or darn near close to it. I don't understand what your, what your, what your game plan is. I think they want, they're a player that wants to have lots of territories to get a territorial bonus if they're going to keep losing this. Is their plan. Now, if I can break the blue spirit and they bot out, that's great for me. If blue, if I've broken blue's heart and they just given up, huge. But they don't seem to be given up. You don't have a card trade next turn. That's good. You are determined to try and hold this as best you can. I don't get that. You, you just don't understand. I'm not going to let you have a plus eight bonus. Just It's not happening. I am not going to let you hold a plus eight. Roll that 2v1, make it easier to grab my bonus? I'm fine with that. That's fine. I have to keep breaking you over and over again, my man. Um, can I break... Can I slap everything here, go bam, 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 bam... Or no, you know, like this, this, split and have enough to defend? You don't have a card trade next turn. Um, that f so you could slap three and this five. You're gonna slap it on your 11? Or are you putting it on over there? I feel like I'm playing a bot the way you play, but you're a player. Okay, we card trade. Gives us a total of 21. Fantastic. They all go here. Can I make it happen this turn? I've got 48 troops. I'm pretty healthy on the board. I want you to stop with trying to hold this bonus. This plus eight is not happening, sir. I am going to get you out of here. And then I'm going to do this over to here. And then I'm going to fortify... Do I want a 10 and a 9 there? You, next turn... Wait, you could have a card trade and mess me up. Cross your fingers. No, no. No, um... Yeah, cross your fingers, hope you don't have a card trade. Fortify this over to here. There's like a 60% chance they have a card trade. I was thinking they had two, but they got a card at the end of the turn, right? Um, you get 20, could actually do a lot of damage to me, but... If I have a card trade? No. So, but I can... Just, if I lose a 10 stack, it's... If I lose a 10 stack and both of my bonuses, it's rough, but recoverable. Also... 
Look at that. Screenshot, right? Maybe? I don't know. All right, so we are... I messed up th thinking I could grab this and protect it, that he wouldn't have a card trade, but he might have a card trade. I should, when he had one on his turn, or zero on his turn, then I should have tried, but... Oopsie doopsie, this might cost us... This might cost us, like, nine troops, but frankly, that's not the end of the world. He takes nine troops away from me. That kind of evens us out, and he's card traded before me, and then I card trade in after him with even more troops and just undo all the damage uh, he does. And, um, or they might be, a, you know, a woman playing using a, the male characters. I've used all different characters, right? Um, let's see. You guys are busy fighting each other down there, or have you kind of truced up? You two have kind of truced up. No, you have not. Red player is hitting you there, and then they break you. So you guys are not forming an alliance, which is great for me. Gives me more time. Although you are beating Magenta faster than I'm beating Blue. How? How? Because he, because you attacked him first. Because I was, because I dealt with Blue and White. I had to take out. I mean, you also did as well. I don't know how you managed to do so well here. I don't know. I don't know how. Maybe. Well, I mean, we both dealt. I maybe. How? No, we did a card trade. Dang it, man! Sixty percent chance or so to get us there. All right, now we lose all our bonuses, but. uh in a round or two, I get a card trade too and get them all back, and it kind of evens out. It's fine. And if we're lucky, they take their action so slow that they feel to break a bonus. Nah, it's not that slow. All they gotta do is just slap here, uh, s you know, slap this, slap this, fortify back, and I'm broken. There's no way. Ooh, they lost eight. They all I only lost two more than they did. That's not bad. Yeah, it's, they, they break me here. That's fine. That's fine. I'll get my three, slap it on my nine. Bam. Bam. You know. Oh, you're going over here, huh? I mean, the more you attack, the more you make sure you can't actually defend. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. There we go. Are you going to mess up and not break this bonus of mine? <gasps> you messed up and left me to hold a bonus. Oh, you precious baby new player. Or an experienced player not paying attention. All right, well, that makes life easier. You got 12 there, it's kind of scary. But I can just do one of these maneuvers here. And we can uh, put a stop to this. There we go. And we're just going to go ahead and put it down a little bit and... One of these maneuvers here, and guess what? You don't get to hold this. And that 12... Do I fortify against that 12? I'm not sure this player even sees that. Do, if I, if, if, I'd if rather they just break me than me stack 5 here and 5 here, and then they just break that 5 of mine anyways. Right? Maybe? Because that 12 is going to come through this way, I think. Or do I put a like 7 here? I mean, I only need 4 here to block you from this direction. If I fortify like this, leave four behind, you don't take me there because you only put three there. That 12 is not... I mean, it could wrap, I guess. At least 10 there. Do you take a 10? 15... We, we try it. We try it. It's worth a shot. There's a chance they don't want to fight that 10 or they get bad dice. And I have a card trade next turn. Yes, I do. 25. Should maybe we use to eliminate you? I don't... I promise you got a five. You got this five over here. I needed Magenta to have a card trade on three, the way that Blue had a card trade on three. Red's having better luck with what's going on. He only had to deal with Magenta. So I got the kill on White. So Red and I both fought White. He got the kill on him. He helps them. He's also dealing with Magenta, who's he's having an easier time pushing around than I am with Blue. I need Blue to have two more turns. You know, complete two more of their turns, and I take him out for three cards somehow would be ideal. I need Magenta to outlast that. Which means I need red to not take a magenta this turn, which I don't think they can, because the 16 is pinned. Because magenta didn't free it. So we have a little bit of time yet. And if I card trade, that gives magenta more troops to make them bigger to deal with the red player. That helps. Yeah, red's going to keep trying to break their bonus. That's fine. Yep, there we go. Keeps both the troops down. Yeah, I've got 37 troops. You've got 34. I haven't even gotten my troop income yet. I'm about to get a lot of here because I, I, I finally managed to do it. I, I think I finally managed to hold this plus eight. Wait, no, no. It's not blue has taken their turn yet. I'm dumb. Blue stacks three on this 12 most likely. Becomes 15, 14, maybe 13. Good dice. 13 v 10. Takes it. If I'm lucky, they bought out. They stack three here. Insane dice to get that. No, probably not. Breaking their spirit. What I need to do is probably like, like I need to, I need to get rid of them. I don't know why the blue player thought trying to hold a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 point hold. I guess five, if, you hold, if, or if, you, if you hold that, it's actually 5. A 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No. 1, 2, 3. If you actually if you hold these, it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 point hold. It's still insane. <gasps> They're botting out. Oh, thank you. I finally broke their spirit. I finally broke their spirit. Yes. 
finally, a bit of luck. <laughs> We've been struggling. We've been struggling to get this cooking. But here we go. All right. Well, this is already like 25 minutes long, so this is going to be a side channel video for sure. I've got capital games go faster than this. If you bought out, that's great for me. That's great for me. Yes, 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 yes. Good. Now I don't have to worry about much over here. Uh, we car trade for sure. We do one of these. Can I take you out this turn? 38. I can actually reverse push this way. No. Um, I'm blocked. Can I take you out this turn? You've got 39. Uh, I don't need to take this turn. Let you get a few more cards, right? We do want to block this bot over here. So let's put that there. The bot gets three next turn. That 15 won't take a, won't hit a 19. So let's just make sure. And um, then we have a three point hold over here. And uh, we do a little bit of uh, this over here to, oh, he's a two point hold? He's a two point hold now. Appreciate the donation to the cause. This just gave me a two point hold here. Thank you. And that's huge. Now I have a two point hold on half of the board. I actually fortify over here because I'm more scared of that 12. You only have one card, so you won't start up your turn. You won't be able to card trade in. Now we have 73 troops. Big card trade on 30 from Magenta. And I have a two point hold on plus eight. I didn't realize that was a two point hold until just now. It would have been good to realize sooner, but it didn't matter. I, we finally dealt with white and blue. Luckily, broke blue spirit makes it easier. If I, even if I hadn't broke their spirit, the fact they don't have a card trade yet, I think we're still... Like, look, right now, at the end of this round, they've got 35 and 1. I've got 72 troops and 2. Like, we're still in a really strong position to deal with them as long as Magenta and Red continue to stalemate for a little bit longer, which I think they probably would have based on their numbers being similar and card trades, unless you card trade Illuminate Magenta like in the next two or three turns, I think we've been fine. Ooh, 35, maybe. Magenta's being smart, keeping you trapped there. I mean, if you, you could switch targets towards me, my biggest concern now is that you begin to work together with Magenta against me. But Red did break Magenta. You've been at war for a long time. All it takes is one of you to not take your eyes off the prize, and then we can clean this up. You're taking a long time to think. You're th trying to figure out how to eliminate blue for cards. Why would you it's not worth it for one card. It's not. Honestly, let blue grab a couple more cards. Um I can I can uh I can do a three point hold here. Keep blue pinned back there until you have three cards. And uh well, there we go. Oh red oh has red given up? Hmm red giving up makes things a little bit trickier for me, I think actually. A little bit more challenging if red gives up. I think that maybe they've given up because I'm doing so strong. You have if you, I mean, you could have card traded stacked on this, formed an alliance with them, and turned around on me. Did you fully bot out? You're still here. Maybe you went to the bathroom, maybe you're in it, took a break, maybe you're pretending to be a bot and wanted to come back later. I don't know. Are you coming back? You're a bot. Okay, good. You're a bot. You didn't change that. Hit reds five. Fantastic value. Love that. Yeah, I can actually just work on pushing you more and more over towards them if I can. Uh, 13 troops for us. I don't want to eliminate anybody for cards right now. Honestly, I've got two point hold and we're feeling pretty fine. Um, let's just, uh, get a card and stack up, honestly. Get a card and stack is the thing to do here. Where do we get my... I want to push that 12 out because that'll just make it easy for them to eliminate, right? This one right here is kind of inconsequential as far as, like, pathing goes. But we just kind of... Actually, I stacked them on the wrong location, but we'll be okay. And a bot might hit there and split that in half. Who knows? All right, now the question is, is there any way for these guys to, like, get some kind of, like, strategy going to team up against me? Um, we gotta be careful. Did you bot out, sir? You, you, oh, you, uh, look at that, uh, you bought it out. Okay, so you bought it out. Red may or may not have bought it out. Blue bought it out. I think I've gotten so dominantly strong on the board, and they see that I've got two thirty stacks on a two-point hold and half the board. I I broke blue spirit, and then I broke magenta spirit. Actually, no, red probably broke magenta spirit, or they just gave up and they saw how strong I am. Did you bot out? Not yet. Okay. So I think what has happened here is I feel like we're to match with probably a couple beginners, maybe an intermediate. I'm not sure if white was an expert with bad luck. I don't know. You're still here, though. No, you are a bot. Okay, so we are in bot cleanup mode. So the strategy here is to try to take them out as quickly as possible without leaving myself susceptible to these guys coming back. And, um, oh, please hit that five to make the blue mission easier. Thank you. Good, good, good. That's beautiful. All right, so you here, 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 here. You here, 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 here. And then, um, 
Let's see, I've got three cards. The blue gives me another card trade. Yeah, blue will give me a card trade. Because uh, I've got three. Hit you, so I already have one. Uh, I do. I can take out... Uh, uh, three plus three is six. If I take a red, so take out blue and then red does not give me another card. I use three red away. Taking those two out gives me three. Does not actually really matter. Just worried somebody's pretending to be a bot is going to come back. That's a thing that happens. We card trade though. We card trade. We stack most of these right here. We go ahead and do this plan over here. And, um,. Uh, I don't... Do I fully eliminate red? Red can't card trade. If I... I don't want to waste troops eliminating red just for magenta to, um... card trade and cause me problems later. Be bad for me, actually. Three cards from you. Because I don't get immediate card trade, but my next turn I would get immediate card trade, so actually I think we do precisely that. I think eliminating red. I got so many troops, probably be fine. Um... Let's move this around a little bit. I can even get you in time. We have to find out. Gotta go faster. Gotta go real fast here. I know it's the hard way. Okay, we go. gotta go quick. Hit this. Three. Nope. There we go. Come on, faster. Don't feed the kill. Don't feed the kill. Come on. And there we go, just in time. That's fine. I think you're gonna break. I need to hit you a bunch. Because, uh... Come on, keep going. Alright, got one more attack before we have to turn off. Because Magenta can actually card trade here for a lot of... For a lot. 50. Yep, card trade with 50 here. They stack it all here and they can go ravaging a bunch of my stuff. But you've stayed a bot. Okay, so if they had came back from being a bot right then, this we'd have a match here. Because I've got 80 troops, they got 76. But I do have immediate card traits to be tough for them. But the fact they've not come back from being a bot thinks means we're probably going to be okay. The bot's not going to be wise enough to go through and break every single bonus I have and spread across the bar the board, make it hard for me to eliminate them. I think once we had gotten at this half the board, we we're in a much better position. 32 troops for us and a card trade on five gives us 55 troops. We love this. We stack them here to trace you back. That's exactly what we're going to do. I could toot my slider here. I don't know I fully need to. Maybe I do. A little bit of damage here. Great. We hit this over to here. Soften that up. Fantastic. And you can hit over to here as well. Don't attack down in there. That's what this is going to do over here. Make sure this is going to be fine. And then we come into the part of the board. I haven't done anything in the whole match apart from get one stack eliminated. And there it is. You wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. And there it is. You'll love to see it. Now I have plenty more videos you can watch too. See you next time, unless you want to see the ranks. Wait for it. Come on, show me the button. And White was an expert. Okay, we we bullied an expert. Red and I bullied an expert, and then I cleaned up some beginners. All right, that was a good fight though. Had a strong 2v1 there. But you'd love to see it. See you next time.